Bill's third reading, the Anti-Homosexuality Bill 2023, as returned by His Excellency the President. Sponsor. Right on speaker and honorable members, I beg to move that the bill entitled the Anti-Homosexuality Bill 2023 be read third time and do pass as amended. I beg to move. Thank you. Honorable members, in furtherance to Article 88 of the Constitution and Rule 24.1 of Rules of Procedure, and as earlier on, as I said earlier on, that we have 400, I mean 301 members present and 40 virtually, that's 341, as opposed to 177 that is required by the rules for us to have the bill go to third reading. I now put a question, now that we have the quorum. I now put a question that the anti-homosexuality bill 2023 as returned by His Excellency the President be read the third time and do pass. Those in favor say and, and control it nay. Aye. The eyes have it. A bill for an act titled the Anti-Homosexuality Act 2023. The bill passed and the title settled. I want honorable members, today the 11th parliament has gone again in the history of the books of Uganda. In the world, in Africa, and clearly brought the issue of homosexuality, the moral question that we talk about every day, the future of our children, protecting families. And I want to thank the president for allowing to be with us on this bill. And I want to ask the honorable members of parliament to remain steadfast. No earthly thing. No handouts. Those small envelopes should not be the ones to destroy you. Let's protect, let's protect Uganda. Virtues, we have a culture to protect. The Western world will not come and rule Uganda. The aid that we have been getting is unconditional. If they are giving us a condition that they should use our children's bums to release the money, there is a right address to be used. We may disagree, but we disagree respectfully. And honorable members, I want to sincerely thank all of you for being strong on this bill. And the person I want to thank in a special way, who was attacked when he went to America, Honorable Lop, thank you for standing firm. I want to thank the members who are here for standing firm on our morals. And as I have always said, if you say you'll deny us, vis you deny us visas, for me I only want uh, a visa for Bukedea. Bukedea and Buyende. Honorable members, no amount of intimidation will make us to retract from what we have done. Let's stand firm.
Can we hear from the chair? Honorable members, listen, as you know very well that the history will judge us fairly. It will be known that in the 11th parliament, we did it. Stand one. Uh, Madam Speaker and uh, honorable colleagues, I want to thank God for this process and for the fact that um, he chose me to lead the committee during this vital time. I think it wasn't a mistake and I thank him for that. I thank him for the president and uh, for his guidance. I thank him for you, Madam Speaker, and for your strength. I thank him for the Attorney General and his staff. I thank the members of the committee and I thank you, honorable colleagues. Thank you very much. I would like to thank all those that, that appeared before us and gave their testimonies. And I want to thank the children of Uganda for standing firm yes. with us. And yes. I pray that we all stand by what we have yes. passed today. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And order on home. <laughs> <laughs> there is nobody on the floor, Haj. The order can be in parliament. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Madam uh, Speaker, uh, the point of order I am raising. On a whole. We are doing this bill because of one person. That person happens to be President M7. So how can you thank someone who's making us do this work a double? <laughs> <laughs> if there is anybody in this country who loves President M7, it is Honorable Semoju. Honorable members, can I hear from the sponsor? Oh, proceed, Madam Speaker. Procedure. Can I hear from the sponsor? Procedure, Madam Speaker. What, what procedure? Uh, Madam Speaker, I really want to appreciate the way you are handling. <laughs> but I don't know whether we are proceeding well by thanking all those people without thanking yourself. I really want to, to find whether we are proceeding well by not thanking yourself. Honorable members, just understand, uh, Honorable Macho, you know, being somebody at the border, he can smuggle in anything. <laughs> <laughs> Honorable, Honorable Basali, right? And I want to tell the people of Bugiri, whoever doesn't vote for these people who are here, I mean, I want to tell the people of Uganda yeah. that whoever doesn't vote for these people here, those people are homosexuals. <laughs> <laughs>